all right, everybody? How's it going? Now, just behind me, no, I mean, just in front of me, because behind me, it's just a fence. So, in front of me, that way there, is a small bike shed, and then there is my secret, well, it's not a secret, really, but it is, because you haven't told it yet, <laughs> is my secret next e-bike project. Now, my next e-bike project is going to be incorporating the CYC motor again, the one that burnt out and all melted. So if you haven't seen the CYC motor all burnt and exploded, go and check my other videos in the past and you will see what happened to the CYC motor. And CYC did send me a new motor. I'm going to try it again and I reckon that one is going to fail as well because a few people have emailed me and said that theirs have failed, so it's probably going to fail again. But um, I best try and get it on the bike before I think it's November because that's when the year's guarantee runs out. I think it's a year's guarantee, so <laughs> I better crack on with it. But anyway, I'll turn the camera around now and we'll have a look inside this shed in front of me, not behind me. Right, so here's the shed, and inside there, I got two bikes in there. This is supposed to be uh, a shed for three e-bikes. No, not three e-bikes, but three bikes. It's supposed to be a three-bike shed, uh, like a small one. But I can only fit two in there because the one bike is pretty big anyway. But uh, let me lift the lid up. A bit noisy. You're supposed to use two arms, but I'll try and do it with one. Like there. And if, if we peek in here now like this, you've got the trusty old uh, Engui M20. Oh, it's, it's a seagull attack. Seagull attack then it was. Um, right, okay. So in here we got the Engui M20 and then over here is my <laughs> secret, well not so secret, e-brake project. Now this bike here, you can't see it very well, but another seagull, look at this. They're going crackers, these seagulls, huh? Right. So this bike here, it, I think it's on Amazon for 400 and something pounds, but for some reason, don't ask me why, but that bike was on sale for £145. So I bought that, brand new, brand spanking new, in the box, delivered to the door, £145. And this is, it's got 29, 29-inch 29 wheels, 29er. It's got hydraulic Shimano brakes. Um, and in the back there is a 2 times 9 I think it's 2 times 9 so it's an 18-speed, and I think the top... I can't remember what the top top the top teeth is, 36 co teeth cogs, I think it is. So it's quite a well-equipped bike. The only thing I did change was it had flat bars, flat handlebars. And because I suffer with bad back, I've put a higher set of handlebars. So that is the next project coming up, and I'm going to be putting um, the CYC motor on that. Uh, so let's go and take a look in that shed a minute, and I'll show you what's going on in there, because at the moment... Let me just turn this camera back around. At the moment, uh, I've done my back right in. So I, um, there was a fern, <laughs> there was a fern by there, and my dog kept e eating the fern, so I, had to, I dug it up, and I put it over there somewhere, right? Out there. Um, but anyway, and I hurt my back. So I, I couldn't walk for about a week. And then I started getting a bit better, and my exhaust was blowing on the car. So I thought, I'll go and have a look. And I did my back in even more. So it's hurting now, even standing up. <laughs> so I can't even go out on the bike at the moment. Got the chiro chiropractors in the morning, uh, not in the morning, tomorrow afternoon. So hopefully they can click me back into place. I'll, have, I'll probably have to see them a few times. But anyway, that's a different story. Let's go and have a look in that shed by there. Right, OK, I've opened the shed up, but I've just got to get this, this thing here. That's for cleaning alloy wheels, but... I'll show you why you need it now. I'll take this up here like this, okay? <laughs> and the reason why you need it is because, I don't know if you can see on camera, I don't know if you can see it, but there, there's a, there's a spider web by here, and the spider keeps making a web. But there, I just moved that spider web out of the way. That was me brushing the spider web out of the way. <laughs> and I keep, <laughs> every time, oh, that's bright, that is. Oh, I'm going to go away from that light. Uh, every time I go into that shed there, I, um, I get a cobweb in my head. That's not really nice, is it? Anyway, let's turn the camera around. Right, okay then. So, by here, I don't know if you looked on back on my other videos. Uh, have a look back and you'll see, you'll see this bike and it was a hell of a mess, right? It was terrible. Um, 
it was a right state. I bought a, a broken down sort of project. Higher sun, 125. The engine is still down there, waiting for me to sort it out. But a lot of things have happened. But I'll show you that in a minute. Let me just go in here a minute now. Um, let's have a look. So the, my 72 volt battery for the e-bike project is there, sitting there on the shelf. I'll end up here on the shelf waiting for me to get better is this is the CYC motor and I, I think I'm not quite sure if I still got the the long kit on it I, I did got the 100 and 100 mil kit it's got to, I got to put the small kit back on so all the bits are sitting there on the shelf waiting me waiting for me to do it to try that back out the brand new motors on there the old motor is still sitting down there somewhere down by there you can see the shed's a bit of a mess because I've done like I said I've done my back in I've even I even bought myself one of these look so I don't have to bend down. <laughs> so <laughs> I haven't tidied up. I've been laying down and resting. So, so there's the CYC project there. Look, okay, right. Um, so that's look at that nice beefy connector on there. Look, it's good, isn't it? And the display there. Look at everything. So that's that, and that's going to be on the the hundred and forty five pound bargain bike, which is a really good bike. How? Uh, how I managed to get it for £145 is, pff, I don't know, but uh, there we are. I don't know if it was a mistake on Amazon, because it's, it's £407 now. But anyway, let me turn the camera on again. And this is the, no, like I said, if you go back and look on this higher sign 125, you'll see that this was in the right state, right? This was an hell of a mess. Now, if you look up here, I had to, I've had to rewire and do redo the whole wiring loom, okay? There's a... There's new plugs on the end of a lot of it. I've retaped it all, like that there, all down there, a couple of cobwebs up there as well. Um, and I've done it all the loom. I've done all the loom, blah, 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 blah. I think there's a new, uh, is that one there? That's new, yeah, new relay in there. New plugs on the end of there, and a new fuse thing there. So all that's new there, I've done all that. That's all tickety-boo. Still got some old stuff left up there, I haven't put on the bike yet. I don't know if you can see, but there, look. That is a refurbished caliper and it's got stainless steel uh, pistons in there and down there as well, look, that's got stainless steel pistons in. The calipers are usually silver but I've sprayed them black, new seals and stainless steel uh, pistons. There's another caliper there i got to do, that one. I haven't done that one yet. And that's going to go on the other side because if you look at the front of this bike now, if you're interested that is. <laughs> I've put the, I've put, it came with a single disc, but it can have double discs. So I've put double discs on. So there's two 300 millimeter discs on the front there. Brand new tire and the front wheel has been powder coated and brand new bearings on the front wheel. Okay. Uh, the, like I said, the brake has been refurbished. Got new indicators on the front of here. Uh, this was, this is like a mini fairing type thing. Uh, this was, a, I bought a second and it was blue. It's pretty black. And then I've done like a burnt copper colour on this with silver, so I've sprayed that. And this powder coated here, this top of the triple, triple tree, and that's done in a burnt copper colour. Uh, I've changed the handlebars, look. The handlebars were the droppy down type. Like I just said, I suffer with bad back, so I've put, put the upright ones on. Because originally this bike had the low handlebars and it was a big fairing on it. And it was all, you know, you know. Well, look back in the, in the videos. Uh, brand new switches, switch gear from Korea, sent off to Korea to get them and switch gear, new grips, new brake uh, caliper things, uh, reservoirs I mean. There's the old, if you look down there, look there's the old switches, look if you can see down by there somewhere. They were, they were a hell of a mess, they were all smashed up. So brand new switches, new wiring coming off that, brand new tank holder, new rubbers, uh, New bolts in there. I've put stainless steel bolts everywhere. As many stainless steel, steel bolts as possible. These were all rusty and manky, so I changed all them on this little rubber pad here. I think that's to keep the heat away from the air box or something. I'm not quite sure. Um, then I've had the frame powder coated, so all the frame was powder coated. I don't know if you can see there, look. I had to drill the rivets off on that little plate there and then, and then rivet them back on later. I had to buy a riveter. It's been there, look. See, there we go. <laughs> um, so all that's been powder coated. I've done the bolts here, turned them up. Down here, I don't know if you can see down there. Let me get my... I'll use this for pointing. Down by there, look. That's been powder coated. 
that's been powder coated in the burnt, burnt copper colour. They've been done in the burnt copper colour there. Inside there, it, it, see the red spring? That's a shock absorber from America. There's a little creature crawling on there. Stop crawling, get off. Oh, he's flying on me now. So down by there is a shock absorber from America, so it's not rusty. Then down by there, the swing arm. That's from America as well, because all the swing arms from the UK were just rusted to bits. So my one there, luck has had been powder coated as well. New back tyre, wheels been powder coated, new bearings, um, the sprocket carriers had a new bearing, there's new bolts on the sprocket. Uh, what else is there? Oh, I've done them, look, these grab handles, I've sprayed them in a burnt copper colour, usually they're just plastic, so I've sprayed them as well. I've had to buy new, uh, this, whatever this is called, <laughs> fairing of some sort, or body panels, body panels, that's it. I've had to buy new body panels either side because they were all cracked, the original ones. And if I go around the back here, it's got still got the original uh, LED backlight. Put new LED indicators on there. I had to repair this here. Under there's a, a, a bracket holding this on. That's been powder coated as well. So I've done loads of work on this bike, but it's a, you know, it's a long project. Um, I, I should say as well that I've put this is a brand new cover on the, if you're thinking, oh, it looks good. <laughs> because I bought a second hand. There, let me show you that one there, look. That's, that's the original one. It was all manky, look. Because it's been out in the rain for ages. So I bought a new one of them. These have been powder coated as well. So I'll have put the nice big tall handlebars on there. There won't be no fairing on you. It'll be open like a naked bike of sorts. So, oh, and a new petrol pump, I, I suppose they call it a petrol pump, but that's vacuum operated. So there we are. I still got some bits down here to do. I've got to put uh, the carburetors. I put them in the ultrasonic cleaner. They've all been cleaned up and done. That head there has got to go on the front of there because the previous owner had snapped the bolts for the inlet manifold thing by there. I don't know if I'm putting the right place there. So I've got to put that head on there. Uh, Little few bits and bobs I still got to do, but there we are. So that's that bike there. So I thought I'd, uh, I thought I'd just sort of put that in because <laughs> because I can't get out on the bike at the moment because I've done my back in. I thought I'd just show you around, see what's happening. Like I said, CYC project coming up soon, but there, uh, and that's about it really. <laughs> um, if you like this video, or if you didn't like this video, give it a like or a dislike. Subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>